Hello, this is Karma's A Stitch. Welcome. This is going to be the second installment of a little mini series that I'm doing to get folks caught up on some of my projects because I have been MIA for a couple of months. So instead of doing one massively long episode, getting everybody caught up, I figured I would make maybe a mini series and just dedicate a couple of minutes to each project and you can pick and choose which ones you wanna watch. But the um, this is just the second one. So the first episode or the first mini series installment, I'm gonna move this so that it doesn't bump the tape, the camera. Um, I talked about a cardigan and I frogged a project. This is the second in the mini series. And today I am going to talk about Andrea Mowry. This is one of her earlier, um, one of her earlier projects, her earlier patterns, and it's called Boho Blush. Now I printed this in black and white, so please forgive, but it is, um, when I originally saw this pattern, I loved the textures in it, but I was crazy crazy about this fringe and so I got the pattern and because I do prefer wraps over shawls and as I opened it up to cast it on during my last cast on party that's when I realized that there was brioche in it so that's what we will be talking about today um the sh let's start with the yarn I'm using Malabrigo color 214 magenta. It's the ultimate sock way, uh, cup, the ultimate sock base. 75% um, superwash merino, 25% nylon. I am doing this on the needles that are called for. It's a US 4 or a 3.5 millimeter. Now with this project, um, well, I guess with this mini series, the idea is to just get you caught up on where I am at with all of my projects as I'm trying to wind down 2023. This particular project, I finished knitting. I mean, I got to the end of the last section in the pattern. It has 11 sections and then you bind off and you create the fringe. So I was done with that. And I realized I still had a whole nother skein of yarn that, I, and I do like a larger wrap. And I was like, holy cow, I have, I need to add to this pattern. So we're going to talk about my yarn, which is Malabrigo Magenta, um, in a sock base. We've talked about my needles. And now we're going to talk about what I decided to do in order to move on with this project. So let me show you the shawl so far. Now keep in mind, I think I have this on like a 32 inch. It needs to be on something much larger. But this is the pro progress so far. And this here is where, actually maybe two rows down, two garter ridges down. That's where the pattern would have ended. So this is where we're at. currently. I mean, it's just beautiful. I'm so excited to wear this. Um, but like I said, I got to the end of the pattern. And I was like, holy smokes, I have a whole nother skein left. So I want to add to it. So what I did was the fringe is really long strands. So I have wound off all that I need for my fringe. Now it, the pattern calls for you know, I think it was like 72 or 76 or something like that. It called for that many increments of fringe. So I ended up adding about 10 sets because I don't know how much longer or wider um, this wrap is going to be once I've added on to um, the pattern. But once I was done winding off what I wanted for fringe, I weighed this. And I still have 80 grams. So with this pattern, it starts off 
with a knit section. Sorry about the stragglies. It starts off with a knit bit right there, and then you do a brioche, and then knit, and then some lace, some more knit, and then brioche. So you're just kind of alternating the lace and the brioche with a knit section in between. So I figured it it might it's going to be something where I have to figure out the stitch count so that I can get the lace to line up and do what it needs to in the proper increments and um, then make sure I have the right stitch count for my brioche. So this is one where I have completed it as far as the pattern is written, um, but I'm adding to it. I'm hoping because this went quick. Now let me tell you, this pattern was the first time that I have done brioche without a Stephen West tutorial. Because <laughs> the only other time I've done brioche was in one of the Stephen West MCALs. And he, it, he is just a phenomenal instructor. And I was like, if I'm gonna do brioche, it's gonna be with one of his tutorials. And as luck had it, that particular year, he included brioche in his MCAL. So I did, um, I did do brioche this time and I had an amazing time with it. And I got to the end of each row and not one time did I have to go back. <laughs> I didn't have to undo any of my brioche. Um, I had increases in my brioche section. This yarn has been so wonderful to work with. Oh, can you guys see that color? Oh, just amazing. I'm so excited to wear this. So I will be returning when I have a finished object, but this is another project that I am hoping to wrap up so that I can have cleared needles and empty bags by the end of 2023. So there we go. And we will see. And if you notice, I am wearing the same outfit as I was on the first installment because I did that about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> So you guys, I am excited to be doing this catch up. I hope you guys are enjoying these little mini episodes and I'm going to make sure as I do each one of these that my Ravelry page is accurate and up to date. So that is something I am doing and making sure that I have everything that I need to have all the information available for you guys. So I hope you're all doing well and we will see you soon. Bye.